Welcome students, let's get started by singing Head and Shoulders. Head and shoulders, baby, one, two, three, head and shoulders, baby, one, two, three, head and shoulders, head and shoulders, head and shoulders, baby, one, two, three, knees and ankles, baby, one, two, three, knees and ankles, baby, one, two, three, knees and ankles, knees and ankles, knees and ankles, baby, one. Let's get our listening ears out. I think you might have heard this, some of you. It's called King Kong Kitchen. Now, there's a silly word in here I want you guys to listen for. And every time you hear that silly word, raise your hand. Frog went a courtin' and he did ride. King Kong Kitchen, 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 Sword and a pistol by his side. King Kong Kitchen, 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 So, how many of you heard it? It's King Kong Kichi Kichi Kaimyo. So, the name of the song is King Kong Kichi, and then the rest of the silly words are King Kong Kichi Kichi Kaimyo. So, the first time you hear it is King Kong Kichi Kichi Kaimyo. The second time you hear it is King Kong Kichi Kichi Kaimyo. Do you hear the difference? Which one is higher and which one's lower? Let's listen to the song and we'll figure that out. To Miss Mousy's door, King Kong Kitchy Kitchy Kimey O. Found Miss Mousy sweeping the floor, King Kong Kitchy Kitchy Kimey O. Now, which one did you think went Kimey O? Kimey O. Which one went lower? If you said number two, you are correct. Let's keep listening to the Kaimo Kimo Kaimo Ki, way down yonder in a hollow tree. Kaimoki, way down yonder in a hollow tree, and all in a bath and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitchy kitchy kaimyo. He took Miss Mousy on his knee. King Kong, kitchy kitchy kaimyo. He said, Miss Mousy, will you marry me? King Kong, kitchy kitchy kaimyo. Kaimoki, kaimoki, way down yonder in a hollow tree. Now this is more for the third graders who have recorders, but can you tell if I'm playing way one or way two just by listening and watching my fingers play the recorder? So way two ends with three fingers on top, which is G. Way one ends with two fingers on top, which is A. He did ride King Kong 
kitchen, kitchen, kaimyo. Sword and a pistol by his side. King Kong, kitchen, kitchen, kaimyo. Kaimo, 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 ki. Way down yonder in a hollow tree, an owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitchen, kitchen, kaimyo. Now, some of you might have read the story about that before, and it's a really great pictures with the frog, and he's on the horse, and he's got a little sword by his side, and he goes and he marries a mouse, and they live in the hollow of this tree. It's a really nice little book, too. I think there might be some videos on YouTube about that also. All right, so what was the resting tone? Can you remember it? Bum. You think it's major or minor tonality? Well, it depends on if you hear do or la as the resting tone. Do, do means ha. So do is the resting tone, so it's major tonality. All right, now let's, let's listen to that part one more time and tell me, did you feel the microbeat? Let's, let's see if we can do it with the microbeat this time. Let's put the microbeat just on the side. Frog went a courtin' and he did ride. King Kong, kitchen, kitchen, kind me oh. Sword and a pistol by his side. King Kong, kitchen, kitchen, kind me oh. Kaibo, 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 Way down yonder in a hollow tree. An owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitchen, kitchen, kind me oh. On your head. Rogue Tilly came to Miss Mousie's door. King Kong, kitchen, kitchen, kind me oh. So, what was the microbeat? Did you hear me saying it? It's do day do day do day do day is the microbeat. And maybe you were thinking meter. What's the meter of do day is the microbeat? Duple meter is the meter. All right, let's finish our song out then. And if you already know this part, kaimo kimo kaimo ki, you can sing that part. And the next words are way down yonder in a hollow tree. Way down yonder in a hollow tree. And then who's there? An owl and a bat and a bumblebee. A strange group. King Kong, kitchi kitchi kaimyo. Kaimo ki, way down yonder in a hollow tree. An owl and a bat and a bumblebee. King Kong, kitchi kitchi kaimyo. guys have heard before. The noble Duke of York, and how many men did he have with him? Correct. 10,000. Oh, the noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, a hunting we will go. Hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. Go hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox and put him in a box and then we'll let him go. Oh, the noble Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. And this part has no words. We're going to go back to it. But first, sing the resting tone. What's the resting tone? Do or la? 
Do, do, mi, so, mi, do. So we're in major tonality. This time, you just hum without any words. Hum this time as you sing the song. Keep the words in your head, though. see how the music moves you. How would you dance to a song like this one? resting tone there. That one is la. So is it major or minor? Minor tonality. All right, I've got another song. I'm not going to tell you where it's from, but you can guess when the song is all done. How would you dance to a song like this? I'm sure is how different than however I dance, but where do you think that song is from? That one says it's from India. All right, now let's do this one just for fun. I hope you don't mind if I'm just gonna be a little bit silly now. Mm, how many of you remember this one? When I was a baby. When I was a baby, a baby, a baby. When I was a baby, this is what I do. I went goo this away. That away, do this away, and that's what I do. And when I went to school, to school, to school, when 
where I went to school. But this is what I do. I went jump. This away, jump. Grab away, jump. This away, that's what I do. And when I was a teenager, 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 when I was a teenager, this is what I do. one uh, I think some of you might know it it's called Dwan Nung Your Weebly Wee and let's see if you can remember all the different ingredients of what they're making in this or what they're trying to make <laughs> tone there? Do. So is it major or minor tonality? Major tonality. All right, so the first part of the song, what are they talking about? Do want none your weebly wheat. Do want none your barley. Take some flour and half an hour and bake a cake for Charlie. So they're using wheat, barley, and flour. They're baking it for half an hour and it turns into a cake. So wheat, flour, and um, barley, they're kind of like a grain, something you would bake with. And, you know, they're baking a cake. And who are they baking it for? Charlie. So that's the first part of the song. The second part of the song is more like for, I guess, third and fourth grade, and when you start learning multiplication. And if you don't know multiplication already, that's fine. You can learn the numbers. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is is 35, 5 times 8 is 40. So they're counting by fives. Right now, maybe you're only counting by 1, 2, 3, 4. Some of you, maybe you're counting by twos, 2, 4, 6, 8. Maybe some of you are counting by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50. But this one uses by fives. So let's get back into our song and listen to one more time. Don't want your weebly wheat or don't want your weebly wheat. And we'll talk about what a weevil is in a moment. Dwan on your weebly wheat, dwan on your barley. Take some flour in half an hour and bake a cake for Charlie. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times six is thirty. Five times seven is thirty-five. Five times eight is forty. Weevils are these annoying little creatures, little um, insects, and they get into the flour and the wheat and they'll eat it all up and they'll ruin it. And he's saying he doesn't want that. He doesn't want that in his 
cake. He doesn't want that in his barley and all that. It's going to destroy his crops. That's no good. Swan on your weevily wheat, swan on your barley. Take some flour in half an hour and bake a cake for Charlie. Five times five is twenty-five, five times six is thirty, five times seven is thirty-five, five times eight is forty. There's a great dance that goes along with that, but we'll learn it when we're all together again. But right now you can just learn how the words go and what the song's about and how it sounds. Sing that resting tone for me one more time. Bum. Okay, I have another song about this, but we're just going to use our listening ears and hear their singing voices in Weebly Wheat. Charlie's neat and Charlie's sweet. Charlie is a dandy. Charlie is a nice young man. He feeds the girls on candy. Rise you up in the morning all together. minor what do you think do or la la is the resting tone minor tonality and was that song we just heard what, what was different about it than the last song we heard well one difference i heard is that it had a woman singing it instead of a man singing it another thing is this one was minor tonality the last one was major tonality what about how fast or slow it was this one was slower than the last song but what were they about Weebly Wheat. Both about the same thing, but they sound quite different. All right, to finish today, we are going to count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, except we're going to have the music count for us. Whenever we count to eight, maybe the piano will play eight things like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to pause and silence. We're going to count. And then the piano will play something different. I'll give you a hint. They're not all the same speed. Each time they count to eight, is something different. Eight. Counting to eight. Game number 13. Oh my goodness. The quick ones are easier for me. How many of you thought the long ones were a little harder? Yeah, those are kind of hard because you have to listen for so much longer. It's easier sometimes, I think, to react when we're just moving around than it is when we have to listen a little bit more. I hope you're listening to lots of great music as you have time. 
and I will see you next time when we have more songs to listen to. Until next time, see you all students.